Gamers Biddies, what is up? My name is Jerry from Jerry Gaming, and we are back to build another survival house in Minecraft. So I hope you guys are enjoying these as much as I am building them. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys hit that like button, and thank you guys for the view. So, um, if you guys want to come on my Minecraft PC server where I build these, there's a link to it in the description and in the comment section below, so that way you guys can go ahead and join. It's 1.8 Minecraft server, but that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started on this awesome build. So what we're going to do is we're going to be building a... Um, elf frame survival house. Now when I build survival houses I try to keep them as basic as possible while keeping that really cool look to them and making sure that you would be able to collect these supplies in at least two Minecraft days if you grind. And then I add other things that might take at least five to ten Minecraft days but you can add that to your house as you guys go and that's extra decoration. So what we're going to need is we're going to need polished dorite, polished andersite, we're going to need spruce wood, we're going to need spruce wood planks, um, stone brick stairs, dark oak slab, which uh, I don't know why we need that. I don't think we do need that. So actually, yeah, let's just hold on to it just in case. But then we're going to need um, cobblestone stairs, we're going to need um, cobblestone, sands, uh, cobblestone slab, and an anvil. Actually, I don't need that. Um, look, what we're going to need is uh, stairs. We are going to need spruce wood stairs. I'm just going to get rid of that slab. So what we're going to go ahead and do is place one block here, skipping three. Well, this is going to be the front of the house technically. So you'll see this. So this week, uh, we're going to place five blocks like so of the logs. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is turn skipping three blocks, skipping three blocks like so, turning, skipping three, skipping three. So this is where the door would be, um, but we're also going to add another one just to make it a little bit longer, so like this. That's where the main door will be, so this is technically the front of the house, that's why I was like trying to figure out how to explain it. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is then line up these two pieces here, then what we're going to go ahead and do is right over here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, making it five blocks long. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is one, two, three, skip three, skip three, skip three. Then what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, which is a total of five. One, two, three, so which is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it should look like this. This is the layout if you look at it from a sky view. So if you guys do not have this, make sure you guys go ahead and do that right now. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is get our polished andersite. And we're going to go ahead and just fill in these cracks with the polished andersite. There we go, and we're on the straightaway, and there we go. So this is what it should look like once it's all done. Now I'm going to use spruce wood planks as my flooring. You guys are more than welcome to use any other type of flooring that you guys would like. I like using spruce wood planks for this build because they're quick, easy to find, but if you guys spawn in an oak forest, I would then use oak wood planks because uh, that would be the easiest wood to find then. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and fill in this floor. Just a little bit more to go. Also, while I'm doing this, this house will have a fireplace, so please make sure that you guys um, turn off fire spread if you guys, if it's possible. And if you guys cannot turn off fire spread, then just don't light the fireplace. Uh, to make it easier on yourself so that way it doesn't burn down. So this is what it'll look like. Now let's go ahead and take the spruce wood planks and we're going to go one, or I should say spruce wood logs, one, two, three, four blocks high. And we're going to do that on every post. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to keep going like that all the way around the whole build. And just keep going. That's five. There we go. Oop. Oh. 
Oh, uh, and there we go. And there we go. Once that is all laid out, um, what we're going to go ahead and do is on the three, so if it's a three block gap, what you're going to go ahead and do is just connect them like that. So only on the three block gaps, we're going to go ahead and connect them. Come on, I know I can reach. I don't know why it's not working. There we go. There we go. So that's what it should look like um, from an aerial view. And from the front view, this is what it should look like. So if you guys do not have this, go ahead and pause the video here and resume when you guys are ready. Okay, I'm going to start to continue. So right here, we're going to go two blocks higher, two blocks higher, and then four blocks higher. We're going to do that on all of these here. So two blocks higher, two blocks higher, four blocks higher, two blocks higher, four blocks higher, two blocks higher. Two blocks higher, two blocks higher, four blocks higher, and there we go. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to just go ahead and um, start to trace the outline with our spruce wood stairs, like so. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is do this on top like that, and then we're going to go right here and do the same thing just being careful this is kinda hard for me to do on the PC fairly new to uh, PC so that's why there we go and then what we're gonna go ahead and do is just do the same thing all the way down and I'm gonna go ahead and do this in speed build mode and you guys can just watch me doing speed build mode because I'm gonna basically mess up a lot due to the fact that this is so hard to do and PC. I don't know why. I've been having a lot of trouble doing this today. Okay. Okay, so we are back, and once this is all done, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to place a slab right here, turn around, place cobblestone there, place a slab right here, turn around, place cobblestone stair there, place a slab here, turn around, place cobblestone stair there, go over here, do the same exact thing, place a slab there, turn around, place cobblestone stair there. On the edges, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to place cobblestone stairs all across the edges like so and then underneath of them we're going to place cobblestone um, stairs again underneath the additional stairs so it'll look like that when it's all done then what we're going to go ahead and do is come over here we're going to place a cobblestone stair right here sideways like that we're going to place another one here 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 and here so this is how it should look. Um, then we're going to come over here and do the same exact thing on both sides here really quickly. And there we go. Then what we're going to come do is underneath here, we're going to go ahead and place our cobblestone stairs. And we're going to place a stair there. And come over here. Actually, we don't need to place a stair there. Let's just go ahead and do it there. And then we're going to come over here and place our cobblestone stairs. There we go. And place our cobblestone stairs underneath all of that. So it should look like that. And actually, it wouldn't hurt to place a stair there and an upside down stair there. And go ahead and place a slab like that. 
Now what we can do is go to the last one right here and just go ahead and place our cobblestone slabs in place like so. There we go. And come underneath and do the same exact thing. There we go. One there. Okay. Now that that is all done, um, if you guys could go ahead and in the, let's go inside the building making it easier in a three. So if it has a three block gap, we're just going to go ahead and do this, making an O like that. And over here, we're going to do the same exact thing, except here we're not. So you guys bear with me for a second. I'll show you. And then this one's going to be more like a U. And that symbolizes that's where the door goes. Oh. There we go. And here's that. So that's what that looks like. And one little last bit over here. And there we go. So once those are all laid out, then what we're going to go ahead and do is go to the front of the build. Going ahead and placing our stairs there and upside down stairs here, like so. So it should look like that. And we're gonna do the same thing to all of these over here. There we go. And all of this, if I can do it without messing up too much, there we go. So that's how that looks, and the final one over here. There we go. So once that is all laid out, um, we're also going to need uh, to get rid of that stair. Let's go ahead and get slabs. We're going to need uh, spruce slabs, and we're just going to place them going across the top of the roof here, because we didn't do that yet, because I didn't have room on my inventory, but now we don't need some blocks so I can get rid of them. So that's one. Let's go over here and do the same thing over here. Oop, not me to do that. That is going to be number two. There we go. And there we go. That is all done. So the whole roof is now completely done. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to need glass. So let's get glass, panes. You guys can use any color that you guys would like for this. I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the um, glass panes on the inside, making it a little bit easier on me. Also going to fill in the windows here and here. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. And here. Giving us a lot of natural light during the Minecraft daytime. That's very important to have natural light. There we go. Makes the house look very beautiful when you do that. There we go. That's another one done. And for the final windows right here. So once that is all done, what we're going to go ahead and do is on the inside of these threes, we're going to break them right above, right here. So right there, there, there. We're going to do the same thing here, here here, oop, here, and here. Let's go back to the outside of the house and continue detailing it. So what we're going to do is place three logs in front of every single post, like so, except for this post here and that post there. And there will be a reason for that later on. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is get cobblestone stairs, placing them on top of the posts that we just made. Oh, not like that. Here 
and here. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get stone brick stairs. We're going to place one here and one here, and we're going to do that all on here. Well, actually not there. Not on those. Only on the threes. So on the threes, we're going to go ahead and just do that, except for this one right here. Just ignore that for now. Uh, we're going to turn that into a chimney. Get rid of that. There we go. Fixing that. And there we go. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to get some... Uh, we can get rid of this glass pane. We can get rid of the cobblestone stairs. We don't need any of this stuff here. We're going to go ahead and get jungle leaves, get glowstone. Um, we're going to need bricks. We're going to need a brick slab, brick stair, and brick blocks. We're also going to need an anvil. That's why I got that there. Let's move this in order for the way I'm going to be using it. Uh, make it a little bit easier on me. Let's get go back to the main page, get some polished andersite, and what we're going to go ahead and do is take that polished andersite and move it in place like this, making a three block wide patio like this in the front of the house. So it should look just like that. Um, what you guys can go ahead and do is place your two posts there, get your guys cobblestone stairs, and place them like that. Uh, we don't need those anymore anyways. Now we can get fence posts. We're going to use spruce fence posts. And we're going to need torches. So let's go ahead and get some torches. What we're going to go ahead and do now is right underneath each stair, as you guys can tell, I'm just placing a spruce fence post all the way around. And what this is going to do is going to light up the exterior of the build. Gonna keep going all the way around except for that one and that one. Then, what we're gonna go ahead and do is just place a torch on each one. Make sure you guys do that, it's very important. There we go, and on to the last straightaway. And bam, bam, bam. Now, what we're gonna do is break here here, 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 and here. Going ahead and just replacing it with glowstone. I'm going to do this all the way around the entire build. Right here, right here, 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 placing in our glowstone. Again guys, if you guys are having trouble, make sure you guys just pause the video at any time to just make sure you guys catch up, and that way you guys aren't too confused. I'm going to continue to break all of this all the way around. And we don't got to break anything in the front besides that one right there. And then on top of all the glowstone, we're going to go ahead and take our jungle leaves and just place them right on top, making it look really good. There we go. And last little bit right here. And bam. So now that that is all done, what we're going to go ahead and do is to the back of the house right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to need... Um, spruce wood stairs. We're going to break all that there. We're going to break this here. We're going to go ahead and place uh, three blocks high of the bricks. Actually, let's go four. We're going to go ahead and, uh, no, only three. So it's a three by three, placing the stairs there and our stair there. So it should look like this. Going ahead and placing uh, two blocks of the um, bricks. And then what we're going to do is place stair there stair there going one two three four five so it's basically to the edge of the roof placing an anvil and a brick block on top so that's how it should look we no longer need any of these items so i'm going to go ahead and delete all of them except for two one item which is the torch we're going to need nether okay nether brick we're going to need flint and steel we're gonna need um, we're gonna need some of that polished andersite and we're gonna need a iron oop, iron gate or iron bars then we're gonna go to the inside of the house what we're gonna go ahead and do is break all this here placing down polished andersite breaking that there placing nether brick 
going ahead and placing flint and steel and a little barrier there, which is going to keep enders, like in real life, like you have a bar there to keep embers from cracking and flying out and catching your house on fire. And I'm just going to, you guys can either place a dorite block there or you guys can just leave it open like that, see some smoke going in. Um, either way, it's totally up to you guys how you guys want to go ahead and do that. Just make sure fire spray is off so that way your guys' house doesn't catch on fire. On these facing blocks on the inside, we're going to go ahead and place torches on top of them. So make sure you guys do that to every single one. And that will keep the house lit up at nighttime, so that's very important. This is going to be the end of this tutorial, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, guys. It really means a lot to me. Oh, yeah, we forgot the door, so let's get a door. And my favorite door to use is the dark oak door, so or there we go. So it should look like that. But this is going to be the end of this tutorial, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys liked the build as much as I do. Again, guys, as always, thanks for watching.